एंजल वर्ल्ड चैम्पियनशिप चैलेंजर ग्रैंड मास्टर सुपर ग्रैंड मास्टर और फिडे वाइस प्रेसिडेंट वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू बी कॉल there is uh, no or oh, I, I look I, I am a chess player first and foremost but uh, I'm very happy to be involved uh, in change and new administration and uh, I think uh, it will be a breath of fresh air to the chess world so um, uh, over the moon well you are uh your campaign began and that was the first time we interviewed you you were in kolkata yeah at that point what did you have in mind and how did it evolve as the time went by well there were there were changes um so the idea at least was to uh, all along was to influence the election i mean this was a an election campaign run on a shoestring budget um so we just wanted to get uh, a decent mass of votes and then essentially to be the king makers that was the main idea so uh it worked out pretty well uh in the end and i'm very happy with the outcome uh there are you know you're all, always quibbles uh when you have a look at uh some people who have uh reached positions um on commissions and elsewhere you see, you think oh uh <laughs> not everything has changed uh but um it's a process so it's a steady process we want to change the culture of fide that's what we need to to do Well, the the main uh problem for us was actually gauging the level of our support because there was a very large group of people who wanted to get rid of the uh incumbents uh and they liked us but understood that Arkady Dvorkovich's ticket was I mean it, it was stronger it was coming with more muscle financial muscle and and so on so um that is um something that it was very hard for us to say because uh yeah many people liked aspects of our campaign and would be quite happy to vote for us in the first round uh and then change the vote in the second round um any it was hard to say uh you know what we 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 didn't want uh was uh, a very low number of votes um and it could have been low um uh but it also could have been you know dozens of votes higher it was very very hard to 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 gauge so uh we didn't want we saw no point in running if we had a very low vote but actually we were more concerned about the opposite because uh you know let's suppose we came with 35 votes um and uh and they would mostly be uh, Dvorkovich votes uh so after the first round of voting it would be Macropolis 78 Dvorkovich 70 votes and you know we'd have 35 and the psychology of the situation changes there because uh, a lot of people are just interested to back the winner they want to be uh, in their positions and so it was a risk it was an unnecessary risk and so we had a discussion on it you know having put in so much effort um it was a shame to pull out um but uh I think we're all very satisfied with the decision we made collectively. Um there was no um uh no real dispute. I mean we we started with people having different views on it, but we reached a collective decision which everyone agreed on. So it it was a very productive 
discussion, and then and then it was only a question of uh, of, of delivering it, doing it. So, um, and uh, even though I say so myself, I think I I gave a good speech. Uh, in fact, I must have had you know 40 people at least to say <laughs> say that to me who were there at the time came up to me afterwards and, and said yeah that was a great speech and I, I felt um, it was it was a good speech under the circumstances. So was it the first time this term macroeconomics was used or? Uh, I, well I don't know um, but I, I mean I certainly thought of it earlier this year I, I doubt whether uh, uh, I'm sure somebody else has come up with it before uh, but uh, we've spent a lot of time studying the accounts. If you're just a normal chess player, chess enthusiast, you don't bother studying the FIDE accounts. We have been studying the FIDE accounts and see where they're spending their money. And actually, the more you look, the more horrific it is. Uh, you realize what a, a, a dreadful administration this, this was. I mean, incredible waste. Um, all over the place. They could have done so much even within that budget, which I think is much too low by the way, uh, to um, develop chess a lot, lot more. Than, so I think they don't, they, they don't care, they never did care, they're very arrogant, uh, and they've been in it for themselves for, for way too long. It was very interesting from an Indian perspective because I, 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 a large number of Indian grandmasters, I mean I, I think at least 15, have uh, sent me messages of congratulations, well done, uh, um, you know, fantastic. And despite the fact that DV Sundar was on the other, the other side, and that changed in the evening when he became an honorary and they were saying what is this well I, well I don't appoint the honorary vice president so you know what can I do so I think it was a great day and uh, I think people who have supported uh, previous administrations uh, will accept the or some of them will accept the re reality of the, the and, um, you know, there has to be a degree of healing of wounds. Um, but at the same time, uh, some other people have to go to, to make, make space, you know. I mean, some, some people have been um, a malign influence on, on, on FIDE. So there's a balance which needs to be uh, struck, you know. So the, are they? Uh, are you guys looking for more kind of an inclusive kind of a thing? Because as you said, uh, D.V. Sundar, he was on the Macropolis side, and uh, later on he was he became the vice president now uh, under the Dorkovich regime. Um, there are there are things that go on behind closed doors, and yeah I think there is some aspect of that look I'm not in charge you know I, I am not the president and um, I'm one of many VPs on the other hand I um, intend to be very active I um, will be uh, involved in world championship and Olympiad uh, commission so I'll be uh, there, we, in fact, we've been discussing some things today on this, and uh, and a number of other areas. Uh, so I'm going to be a, a key player, despite only being one of of a large number of uh, VPs. So I intend to be active. Now, why do you think uh, Arkady Dvorkovich is different? And I mean, what is your impression of him? Because for a general person. He has been a FIDE, uh, FIFA head, he has been a past deputy prime minister and his father was a very passionate chess player and an international arbiter. Well, uh, one thing I can say about him is uh, he's extremely smart. Um, he, uh, 
he's got a very, very quick brain, and he's uh, well organized, very good at uh, administration. Uh, I even saw this, even in this brief meeting we had this morning, which is not an, uh, an official uh, presidential board meeting, it's a kind of gathering, PB gathering. And uh, already he was basically asking um, job descriptions, uh, making sure there will be a division of responsibilities that, um, you know, not everybody is doing the same thing and uh, some areas neglected. So, I mean, these are normal things in a company, but in, in FIDE, they're just more or less unheard of. Uh, it's essentially been a small clique of people deciding everything. So, um, I think he's genuinely interested in reform. You know, you mentioned the word proxies, and he's been, you know, absolutely disgusted by the, the idea that you can have a, a representative of a country sitting there in the hall and he's given his vote to another uh, country. I mean, that's just profoundly uh, undemocratic. It's, 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 it's sickening, really, to see that because those are proxies are inevitably for favours. Um, so, uh, you know, the bonfire of the term limits and the proxies yeah, that's a, that's a great a great thing, and there will be other changes uh, as well. Quite a lot of uh, other changes. So, you know, we've had a a rotten system for, for for way too long. And we got to know that you're going to play in Croatia very soon uh, as closed round robin tournament. Uh, will we see you playing as well, like before, or will it be? Less? Well, well, we'll find out. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, well, actually, my, my next tournament is in the Isle of Man. So ah, that's, that's, that's uh, so I'm not, I'm not giving up on these things. Although I've got a feeling I may have to reduce the number of tournaments I play a, li a little bit. So I, I, anyway, um, I'm very happy to play chess and uh, I can play it with a maybe even some ease if I don't have to worry about things. Well, Nigel, we, the chess community, have great hopes from you. And okay. thank you so much for your okay. time. Okay. All right. Thanks.